Meghan Markle, she criticized the British monarch one more time in order to make a sell. Yes, she did it again. I have to admire Meghan Markle, whichever way you look at it, she creates chaos and, well, real problems. Today's video will be talking about this and investigate more about the fire. There's been a fire in the baby's room. What? We'll be looking at a picture to show you guys what exactly happened. So stay tuned. Now the first picture that you're seeing right behind me, this is the picture that was taken back in the year 2019, October 2nd. This was the first picture, one of the first pictures I should say, when Meghan Markle, they were going to South Africa. They were in South Africa at that time. And that was the day Meghan Markle also claimed that the same day when this fire broke out where Archie was supposed to be sleeping five months old baby she freaked out she freaked out she was like how could this happen but we'll find more about this whole fake thing that came out from Meghan Markle but let me tell you a few things about this particular picture you can clearly see in this picture Meghan Markle Prince Harry they are having good times maybe not Prince Harry as he is glum <laughs> looking very glum sometimes he does that then he I don't know why he put that face but this picture and some other pictures they corroborate to the fact that Meghan Markle Prince Harry they were actually having a absolutely normal day despite what Meghan Markle said that she was kept busy by the British embassy, by the British monarch, by the royals to keep on doing her duties, doing her engagements, even though she was traumatized. <laughs> That's exactly what we'll find out. So this is the first picture. Guys, they looked a little bit maybe tired because they did not have time. According to Meghan Markle, when they landed in South Africa, they were staying at the British High Commission residents right after that few hours after they landed they went to their engagement museum six uh, six museum or district six museum and district six uh, some other places they went so they were pretty busy so you can see maybe the best thing that we can say or decipher from this picture is that they were a little bit tired so let's take a look at the next picture because i'll show you the actual picture of the fire but the fire that you will see you're about to be seeing is not the fire megan talked about rather this is a completely different story but this is nevertheless is a actual footage and i'll show you with proof so let's uh, talk about the next one so this is another picture of megan markle prince harry look at this couple after they got some refreshment they got some rest they came out and look and look at their faces man look at their faces do you see any distress in their eyes in their facial expressions no none nevertheless this is the same day Meghan Markle said that Archie's room was on fire can you imagine a mother who went through this distress this trauma oh my god oh my god my son my son would put up a face like this and the father too at the same time i don't buy that story whatsoever looking at this picture i can say she is someone who tells porkies guys she is someone who tells porkies this is a picture that i also shared in my other videos but nevertheless this is the exact context of this picture of megan mark prince harry holding hands looking absolutely happy there is absolutely no sign of distress in, on their faces to show that their son went through this almost death accident. I mean, this is horrendous coming out from a mother's mouth saying such things against her own son and also against the British monarch. Let's take a look at this third picture. Now, this is the picture that Megan was referring to. And this is the uh, British uh, Cape Town residence. It's called uh, Navy for, uh, Fort, the British High Commission in, in, to South Africa. And this is a picture that shows that the residence was on fire. But guys, again, this is not the fire. This is the residence, as you can clearly see. And I, when I was doing my research and studies, I did see that this is the residence where they stayed, where Archie stayed, but the fire was not when Archie was there. But Meghan Markle, I don't know if she saw this picture and she goes like, well, see, I told you guys, my son was about to die because of my in-laws, because of the royal duties. Horrible, horrible thing. The magazine at the time when 
Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, they were in, in uh, South Africa. The magazine at the time quoted royal source suggesting the couple, okay, quote and quote. Now, the reason I'm sharing this news with you is because, remember, there was not only one lie, but Meghan Markle told multiple lies. One of the lies was about her own son not being able to be with them. She said, oh, we had to leave our baby and this and that happened. But the royal source, uh, the news that we got at that time, it said that even though the, the couple, Meghan Markle Prince Harry, the, the parents wanted the, the, the kid to be with them, uh, they could not have the kid with them because he was only five months old so they had to give him a, a very separate accommodation and and a very comfortable place but Meghan Markle she said oh we had to leave the baby because we were uh, moving to different different places and so many things were happening and we were kept busy didn't have the time to do anything with the baby we were just busy with the engagement this is exactly what Meghan Markle said but in reality what happened they could not accommodate this baby because of he is five months old hold tight she's got Mariah Carey on episode two so let's brace ourselves oh for what God. they're going to reveal there but I think it's just going to get worse and worse as the episodes go on it's something I probably should have uh, not bothered 55 minutes of my life Lauren was the nanny she was the one taking care of Archie she was the one according to Meghan Markle who saved his life but Lauren the surprising thing is did not say a single word guys a single word she then produced the nanny the nanny's not said anything so you know whichever way you look at it once again creating havoc and discourse all in the wild trying to sell your latest product can you imagine such thing happen we do not even hear about it until after four or five years can you imagine and in a time at a context where this mother you know this porcupine had to sell her podcast it all adds up to the fact that Meghan Markle will always use the British monarch to criticize them in order for the for her own publicity this is exactly what she did with uh, Oprah Winfrey interview all this bombshell coming out of her mouth this is exactly what she did uh, the podcast dropping bombshell so that this podcast would rank number one Lauren did not say a single word Meghan Markle can you also believe <laughs> I mean come on being the mother you don't just say things and then you hope everything will change when you know your son could be at risk right who knows this can happen again you know maybe the room will ca catch fire one more time who knows I need to stop everything whatever I'm doing and focus on my kid protect my baby it doesn't matter who is asking me to do what royal engagements nothing matters to me i'm a mother first megan markle in 2019 october 2nd did not say a single word now after five years she's coming on or three four or five years whatever she came on this podcast do you know why she did that why she dropped those words those criticism against the british monarch it is because she wanted to use again the british monarch to for her own publicity nothing else Leave a comment, I'll see you in the next video.